Hey everybody, Logan here. Today, apparently we're doing, it, it's just all Xbox news. Why not? What the heck? It's not like there's any Sony or Nintendo news lately. There, there really isn't. I have, I, I've, I don't know what to report on those guys. They're just really not doing anything. Um, which isn't, in my opinion, is not really good. But hey, we got some more Xbox news. So... If you guys haven't seen it already, it looks like Halo Infinite free to play on Series X. At least the multiplayer aspect is. So, according to a recent tweet off of Halo official Twitter, as you can see right there, that Halo on the Series X will be a free to play game for the multiplayer aspect. Now, the single player story campaign. That is still yet to be announced. Pretty sure it's going to be a, a standalone. Uh, they'll release it with the launch of the console. You'll get the full game. Probably throw in extras for the multiplayers. I want to be surprised. Full $60 release, no biggie. But the multiplayer, 120 frames per second, free to play. Hmm. Hmm. So, even if you don't pick up Halo on day one, you have the multiplayer. Which, I think... That's that's not too shabby. So I can see this as the graphics, well, depending on what they're going to do with it and if they're going to change, because there's been a lot of tweets and things saying that things are going to get better. That's fine. Honestly, I don't really have a problem with it. There are certain aspects of the, the visuals I'm not 100% uh, on, but we'll get something very good when it comes out. I'm not too worried about that. But... Between now and then, it will be improved. We will get 120 frames per second for multiplayer. With the Series X uh, tech, I could see that. If they don't improve the graphics, or if they keep it this way for the possibility of the Series S, I really want to see if that can do 120 frames. But we know right now, it's official, it will be 120 frames per second on the Xbox Series S, which I think is fantastic. I look forward to playing it. What do you guys think? Drop it in the comments below. Tell me if you think that this is a good thing or if this is a bad thing. Personally, I look more forward to the uh, the story than the multiplayer. Back in the day, I used to be huge into the multiplayer, but unfortunately, when you get a little older, life you know, gets in the way of consistently playing uh, multiplayer online uh, games. I was ranked in top 100 back in the day in Halo 2, Halo 3. I think it was Halo 3. So, uh, in in the, what was it? Not the Lone Wolf, but the, 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 the two-man game. I forget what it was called, but it was back in the day on Halo 3. Me and my buddy Rizzo, we, we just kicked uh, the butt and took the names and posted it on the wall and said, Haha, no, we didn't. We, we really didn't. But we, we were ranked in the top 100. So, you know, I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to go back to playing it uh, as religiously as I can because I'm a huge Halo guy. Are you guys going to do it now that it's going to be free to play multiplayer? Uh, are you interested in playing something Halo that's going to be games as a service like Destiny 2 or whatever those other Call of War Zone Duty 2 Night Fort whatever those things so tell me what you guys think drop it in the comments below I'm not a big fan of those but it is Halo so I will be playing it we'll be giving it a shot I'm pretty sure with this announcement we are going to see tons of microtransactions in terms of visuals because that's what they do so, mm, is what it is. I guess that's the way the, the cookie crumbles. So, I'm going to be playing it. Tell me if you guys are interested, what you guys are going to do. But until then, thank you guys for watching. You know, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Follow us on our socials. You know what to do. RedBandanaGaming.com Like we always say.
be legendary. Boop. Boop. Thanks again.